Buffalo. That was a real person? Yeah. That, well, was it Alamo? Yeah, it's the General Custer's last stand. I didn't know that. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on rappers react. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood six, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke. Yeah. Diggity. Yeah. All right. I got a. I got a crazy wrestler. I know you ain't gonna know nothing about. All right. Let me hear it. All right. You. You actually. You got me on the Sandman thing. Um. Tell me something about Scott Stud. Scott Stud. That was Scotty Riggs before he was Scotty Riggs. He actually started. Uh. It was, I mean, he was in WCW. You remember him? He was men at work with Buff Bagwell. And hung out there. One of the first openly... I don't know. Actually, he wasn't openly gay. He's passed away now uh, due to his own volition there. But, uh, yeah, that was Scotty Riggs. Oh. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah, I didn't know definitely. it was going to go that dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am right. No, no. Oh, you know what? Lord. You know what? That God. Was, Nah, I mean, he was. That is, oh, okay. Scott Studd was Scotty Riggs, but I was thinking about Chris Canyon that actually has passed away. Dog. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, dog. My bad. You good. <laughs> I didn't want to, he might watch this one day and be like, hold on, dog. Right hey, here. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, um, um, so you know the cereal honey nut oats? Yeah. And they have those little things, what are those things called? The O's? It's like they're clumped together. It's a cluster. All right, take the L out. Custer? You got it, my All friend. Right. <laughs> guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment. <laughs> Tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. It comes directly from you right down in the comment section. And today, it's time to step into the snare and mingle with the maggots because... It's Slipknot, Slipknot Saturday. Saturday. Absolutely smoke diggity diggity dog. Yeah. The name of this song is Custer. Yeah. And Custer. this is off of their fifth studio album mm -hmm. called The Great Chapter. Now, yeah. I want to say they dedicated this album to a... Uh... General Custer. No? <laughs> okay. I guess not. Um... But yeah, man. So oh, I actually know something about this song. I don't know. I haven't heard the song, but I've seen comments that said, you know, this was kind of dedicated to Paul. I think I, I'm hmm. pretty sure talked to him for a minute. Yeah. I mean, this is later Slipknot. I will say that. Yeah, and I'm guessing this is about, or not necessarily directly about General Custer, but um, something oh. in in that effect, like the Last Stand of Custer. That was a real person. Yeah. That. Well, was it Alamo? Yeah, it's the General Custer's last stand. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, check that out. I'm gonna have to look into that. Yeah. But yeah, the maggots have sent this one over, man, and they're like, you know, th we we've done, you know, a lot from the Red Jumpsuit, a lot from Iowa, a lot mm -hmm. from uh, Subliminal Verses, but we haven't really done many from the Gray Chapter, I don't think. But mm -hmm. um, apparently they're like, hey man, check out some of this later Slipknot work. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm interested. I'm very... I don't know how later this is. Man, see, there's some questions that we should know the answer to. Like, yeah. how many studio albums do you got? Do you know? Oh, man, a lot. That's the answer. You think? How many, just take a guess. What do you think? <laughs> 11, maybe? Holy shit. All right. Yeah, check that Look out, because I know it's a lot. And aren't they gearing up for another one? Yes. Yeah. I, that's what I heard. Yeah, I, I like that, too. Like, a band that can continue to produce. And, and good even, quality. Yeah, and with Corey being in other projects also, and they're still putting out Slipknot albums, like, it's always great to see that. You know? Rather than a lot of bands that break up and then, you know, the, they go their separate ways and they never reunite to put out another uh, album from the original band. Right. So according, what is a video album? Huh. That's interesting. I wonder if they put out a DVD like. Do all right. Yeah. Dude, we count that as an album? I would guess, yeah, unless it's all remixed. Well, I mean, that would be an album, too. Yeah. So, according to this, 6 plus 5, that is 11. 
plus one compilation album, that's 12, plus mm. a live album, that's 14 albums. Okay. Wow. Jesus. So this yeah. is fifth. Maybe this isn't later, later. Oh, yeah, not that later. Yeah, maybe this is like mid Slipknot. Yeah. So, what, mid 2000s somewhere? Probably. Yeah. Small dog. What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it. Now, this one. That's clown. I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, would you not call this thrash? Yeah. You would call this thrash, right? Yeah. That's, I mean... Yeah, but they had their unique blend of, like, new metal and thrash metal combined. So if he starts rapping, would you you'd say that new metal? Yeah, but I think it's like, it's new metal, thrash metal, like a blend. Let's see if he starts rapping. It's Corey, so he might. You know damn well you didn't see that on the toilet wall. Uh, you know, maybe. you know damn well you didn't see. He must have been at the masquerade or something. Now he might have saw it at the masquerade. Yeah.
That was a great song. <laughs> yeah. Broski. Uh-huh. This might be my fa- new favorite Slipknot song. Man. Cut me up. I love the vibe of it, for sure. I love it, dude. I wonder if the entire Grey Chapter album is like this. Oh, man. I, and you know me. I like the more chilled, but yeah. this is just like, it's this like just chop. Like, wall. Ch- yeah. Ch- 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 yeah. Man, this the drumming was very prolific in this, yeah. and the guitar, the the lead guitar and the drum were just like mesh, bro. Yeah, they yeah. just like like a peanut butter sandwich. It was just mm-hmm. on top of each other. Yeah, which is crazy with thrash metal. You know, you don't hear that as often the the syncopation like that. But so you would call this thrash? Yeah, I, I, like I said, I think that's what it is. I think that's Slipknot. I've resigned to the fact that I think Slipknot is a cross between new metal and, and thrash. thrash metal. Yes. Okay. I mean, because you see, he raps in most of the songs. Which makes know? it the new. And it still has the hip-hop. It has the scratches yeah. in it. But there's just that element of thrash in almost every song. Just like you want to break some shit. Yeah. Just throw a damn trash can yeah. at the wall or something. Yeah. Huh. I think that's what made Slipknot so big, in my opinion. What's up? It's just a new blend of genres that hadn't really been done before. Yeah. I think another thing I'd add on top of that is they, they really don't give up what they say. Yeah. I mean, they, they're going to say what they feel, mm-hmm. and they're going to mean what they say. And say, it don't matter if it hurts your feelings. Cut, cut, cut me up. <laughs> yeah. Me up. What do you think? All right, so let me tell you what I think that's about. All right. See, I can't I can't say for sure because he said with angel eyes mm-hmm. and demon seeds. What does that mean to you? What, with angel eyes and demon seeds. Somebody who's deceptive. deceptive. Okay. Yeah. Now, cut, cut, cut me up. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. drugs, man. Maybe, yeah. Cut me out one. Yeah. 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 I mean, who knows? <laughs> I mean, you may be right. You may be right. I, I, I thought for a second maybe he's talking about society in general. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, about it's a, like an anti-conformity thing. Angel eyes and demon seeds. Yeah. Huh. And then for a second I was like, maybe he's talking about a mosh pit. Yeah, hey. Because he's saying the last man standing gets <laughs> <Yeah>. no pity. <laughs> man, I wonder if Slipknot ever does that at their shows. I wonder if they ever, like, just hop in the crowd and just mosh. Could you imagine <laughs> yeah. moshing with Clown? Like, that'd be amazing, yeah. dude. Oh, yeah. Man, this um, this this was an interesting Slipknot Saturday. And mm-hmm. I can't. I want to see what else comes off of this album. Yeah, dude. me too. That, yeah. that's Trash Talkers, let us know what's next for Slipknot Saturday. Absolutely. With that being said, my name's Banjo Hollywood 6. Bye. I am Larry, Smokey, Ramirez, Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces. We want to thank you guys for tuning in to Slipknot Saturday and allowing us to mingle with the maggots. If you want to check out last week's Slipknot Saturday, it's going to be right over here. If you want to check out another artist that we've covered, it's going to be right over here. Thank you guys so much. We are really enjoying this Slipknot Saturday. We will see you next week. Deuces.